So about now, so I'm going to start sending my probes over. You can see I shift click, so different groups will go to different mineral patches as soon as uh, they get there. So, I, so it will be a little more efficient. Now, uh, as soon as I uh, start getting my economy going, I can drop down a few more gateways and have a rob robotics facility there so I can get observers to see his mines and also just to scout out what he's doing. My little wall is finished there. Now I get uh, the range for the goons because that is a pretty good upgrade. You kind of want that upgrade. And those two, you always want to just keep pumping units just, just in case because you never know, he might have um, like double fact or something because he suspected I was going to really expand or who knows. You just want to keep the units pumping so you can um, kind of out macro them. So far there's three gateways, well two and one's building and the fourth one's going up right now. Just about now, he will probably be just, um, his, his expansion will probably have finished. He's probably going to be doing about the same thing as me, getting his factories down and, uh, starting to macro for a push. So, really want to keep those units building so I can have more guys than him when he comes. And you really want to out micro him as well when the battle comes. Pretty sizable amount of dragoons there. And I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna want to start building some zealots now. Get my uh, speed upgrade. Citadel of Adun is down. Three observers are building. I usually like to build about three. One to go see what he's doing in his base. One to go around with my army, and one kind of like in the middle of the map, especially on a map like this, because uh, the Terran will like to put uh, spider mines all over the middle of the map. Um, also, you always want to remember to keep the pylons, build pylons at the right times, so you never caught it at a, you know, when they say, oh, more pylons needed or whatever, cannot build more units, because uh, that will slow you down a lot. If you're trying to out macro someone, you always want to have uh, the pylons building at the right time. So far this match, um, I haven't even had one time where I've needed, I've forgotten a pylon, so going pretty well and I just saw his vultures pushing out from with my uh, observer that's down there near his base so I'm sending my second observer up uh, actually that's my third observer up towards my army see where the mines are you see there's one in the middle of the map tanks and uh, some of the marines from earlier are coming in uh, I just saw him lay down his mines I'm going to send out uh, just my dragoons to kill, kill off the mines you don't want to like try to you want to lose your zealots have them right in there and just die and the uh, tank sieging, trying to, but I killed all those mines, so he was, he was going to try to place the mines down and then siege be behind them so I couldn't take out the mines, but I found them at a good time. And here I go, I go around, and I will try to pull, you see that one mine, I'll pull it with my zealots right here, explodes, and uh, his army pretty much gets obliterated. And I have a probe and two more gateways going down for a total of six. And I will be getting a third expansion top left now that uh, it's pretty much safe since I've destroyed his army. And he's kind of on the defensive now. And I see his guys kind of just sitting around out there, so I'm just going to go attack him. That's why it's a good thing to have three observers kind of like down the line to his base. See everything he's doing. Citadel, I mean, uh, Templar Archive going down, so I can get Storm for later. Pretty much, um, the game has completely turned in my favor right now. He's trying desperately to hold off my uh, army. My guess would be that he probably forgot, like somewhere along the line, to build um, a supply depot or something. So that's why I just had so many more units than him. And again, I'm sending just my dragoons out to kill those mines right in front of his expansion. It's natural. Some cannons going up in my expansion, my second expansion. 
and two tanks are trying to siege up the cliff there, but um, this is pretty much game. There's nothing he can do anymore. I'll try to push up the ramp and it'll be game. So he's going to call GG right now. And so thank you, that was a uh, uh, new commentary.